I'm going to be walking through how I make custom Z flashing or any kind of metal flashing uh, with this roller bender right here. Uh, so this is just a little handheld thing, um, but I can make pretty long custom bends like this so that I can make sure that the water is directed away from the house. But I couldn't buy the right length and I don't have a metal brake, um, but ideally you have like a quarter inch or an eighth inch uh, on the horizontal run right here so that when the water comes down it's not going to try to say the ones I got from the store were coming right up to here and because of that the water was wicking or will wick right up in that with capillary action and then just get all this wet inside here so you're flashing it just to come all the way out to there but I couldn't buy that size so that's the reason why we're here doing our custom one. I already know that my trim is one inch and now I'm adding a quarter inch, so I'm at an inch and a quarter on my combination square. And I just loosen these guys up. And I'm going to push this guy in. And in my case, I just adjust this. I'm gonna probably do this off camera, but I'm gonna adjust so that the edge of the wheel comes to here. And that'll be the length of my horizontal run. All right, this is the finished product, so it's not perfect, but uh, if you want a perfection, I'd say go buy a metal brake or rent one. Um, but for the purpose of shedding rainwater, I'm gonna call that good enough and uh, we'll throw it up there. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.